Jeffrey Welcome, Van Welcome, friends, to the Fragerman Fox. Yes. Yeah. Thanks, Jeff. He's so I have mad. no clue whether we're live or not. Are Jeff's we good? So mad. My All initials right. are in. So listen, this week. All right. So we're starting this off in a painful essence. If you can't tell, Ian and I are sitting, and it's because I wrecked my ankle on our Saturday run. Which, by the way, if you're not part of the run club, join. You can join. We wreck our ankles. Um, we were running, and it's like I feel as though. I do a really good job of paying attention to where I'm stepping because I have hurt my ankle pretty bad, yeah. like several times throughout my sports career, and it's just been whatever. I feel like I pay attention to it, and it just got away from me, and there was just a root. I stepped right on the root, and I was like, clunk. You know that song, uh, Rusted Root? Rusted, not the, the song? Send Me On Send My me Way, on my way by, by Rusted, Rusted Roots. Root. He stepped on a root, and his ankle sent him on his way. Yeah, but I did not fall. He wobbled for a good but solid I did minute, not go down. but he did not go but down. But the thing is, is that um, yesterday was totally t- like as if, like it was as, as if it didn't even hurt. Right. Like honestly, I was walking perfectly normal, and then I took my uh, brace off and was just laying in my bed, and then all of a sudden, just like randomly, just like started hurting so bad, and then all today, like a major limp. Right. But I think like. Are you ever just like laying down or sitting or standing and you kind of hold your feet weird? Yeah. yeah. Like where it's like your ankles kind of bent a little bit? Yeah. Right. I must have been doing that That's for how, like a I, long time right. laying in my bed. When I hurt my foot the one time that I like actually hurt it, like I would be laying in bed and just like it was just throbbing. Yeah. Like, but I like, know what you mean. It like, wasn't it's, like all day. Like I heard it on ankle. Saturday. It was like the top of my foot. Oh, so, like, yeah. Yeah. I couldn't just like rest that, that part is of different. my foot. I think you know it's just because it was a like... Obviously, it's it's the devil, but it like it's the change from going to a brace to not a brace to where it's like still moving. Because like when I hurt my foot right before we went, the day of camping, like last October, I hurt and it was like puffy, and I just the whole way to camping, I had it in one position. As soon as we got there, I started moving around. It just like was throbbing. So I think it it's like that so change. Bad. Yeah. That makes sense. But in this case, it was the opposite. Because it, all day I was like, I mean, I sit all day at work because of like working yeah. in the office. But like we went to the gym, I was benching and like that's using a lot of legs mm. yeah. and ankle mobility and then was totally fine. I washed my car, I did everything. It was like walking normal, going up the stairs, down the stairs. And then literally just laying in bed, it was just like, oh, it was, yeah. it was very disappointing. Yeah. And then today I had like a major limp, but thankfully it's gotten a little better as the that's day good. went on. But. You wrecked your <laughs> well. I got not a, ankle, but uh, a high ankle. Not not even ankle. Shin more. I got a puck off the shin playing hockey on Saturday, so that hurts. And I can't, well, I haven't been running because who the the plays vibration and, like doesn't want to get hit in the shin. I agree. No, I I the amount of damage to my shins and knee area <laughs> from a puck. It's like legitimately chips taking. Literally, out I have shins. chips in my in my yeah, shins. Yeah, I was gonna say my shins. Yeah. are destroyed. Irreparable <laughs> damage. <laughs> um, and not even just how from is puck, it now? Is it still like majorly it's, purple it's and green? <laughs> not majorly, but it's still puffy and it's still like. You could tell yeah. there's discoloration, but like it's not terrible to walk on because it's not that low down. Mm-hmm. But like trying to run, like I've run it in baseball tonight, and I was like, it was hard. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, how was um, baseball? It was it was a good game and it was beautiful out, but I sucked. Actually, why? <laughs> oh, awesome. First game back. Yeah, first game back. <laughs> I was I was rough. I had a pop up, a ground out, and then a ground out that wasn't. I mean, I hit it pretty hard, but it was an error, so I got on. Uh, and then a uh, ground out. But other than that, it was a good game. I played first for the first time in years. How was that? Is that it preferred? Was right, I, I, me? Yeah, preferred no. to play first. No, I hate first. Oh, you're an outfield kind of yeah. guy. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I remember. But it was it was it was fine because of my like shin ankle area. Yeah. It was fine to take a break from it. But Do you um, know what's crazy? Other than when I get in, like, a guy's game and, like, they need me to just go play outfield because they already have that shortstop, uh-huh. <coughs> I haven't played another position outside of shortstop probably since, like, maybe first grade. That's how I am. Like, uh-huh. if it, if it, other than Ian like, and Willie. literally, I play there every single game. It's almost getting boring. Right. <laughs> it, Do you want to play somewhere else? 
I always say that, and then as soon as I'm in a different spot, I hate it. <laughs> That's how I am. But if if I'm not on Ian Willie's team, I'm shortstop every game. But yeah. if I am, then I'm third base. I mean, so I love playing play hockey, but one of the best so one of the best things in the world is like mm-hmm. tracking down a, a fly ball in the outfield, like just. <sighs> It's yeah, I would say if I wasn't rush playing just, shortstop, definitely yeah. outfield. But um, I'm so ready for baseball. I'm so like ready. hardcore yes. baseball, like every hardcore, Monday night. Every Monday night, dude. I'm Let's ready for that. roller hockey Let's now. Go, give me five. And the courts just got redone. Let's do it. I'm ready, dude. Are they We're good gonna, courts? Like good. I haven't dude, played on last oh, time I thought you played on Saturday. No, we played at uh, uh, what's it? Tarsdale again. Dude, last time we played roller hockey, remember I smelt, f- I, yes. I fell and smashed my face. Yes, I remember. Cause of the court. <laughs> At Fox Chase, literally yeah. my, literally my skate got caught in that Bam. big crack in the middle of the court. Yeah. And, like my face. Bam! I remember like, seeing it. I was like, smack. I remember because I convinced I you to was play. Just like, oh my gosh! Did I just bust my entire face open? Yeah. Uh, thankfully, I didn't. But yeah, I know. Like, literally, <laughs> I was like, you didn't have any kind of damage on your face. The or anything, worst roller like... hockey is when the goalie comes out and dives. Yeah. And you can't just hockey stop. So I did that. He dove, and I had to jump over him. No, and my the feet got caught. You need to and learn how hands, to hockey stop. I, I didn't roller. wear gloves that game because I. Oh, that's. Because no, I, 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 it was right before I started playing ice hockey, I and I wasn't was always playing roller hockey. I literally just went like this straight across the ground. He didn't have skin here. Ten feet. In my, it was raw. <laughs> that's like hilarious. The worst. That's hilarious. You're flying around him. Oh! Oh no! Yes. Your stick goes like through your chest I, and out your back. I just, I just had the worst thing in roller hockey though <laughs> happen on Saturday because I got hit in the shin and then another puck hit got deflected all the way to the net and it bounced up and hit me in the collarbone and like bounced up into my face. But then, like lay, very close to the end of the game, I'm just go, kind of gliding backwards. And there's another crack. Oh, and my back, bro. and I go, and I fall, dude. My, uh, I landed on my elbow, and it's like it didn't Did, break it, it, but like every it time I move it, well it, have. it as well. my, <laughs> my arm like r- really feeling it. It's just lingering, and it was like it wasn't even close to the puck. I just skated backwards Speaking and it just came elbows, out of it. Dog. At work Friday, I was we we're like holding up a oh. beam, like. All right. Wrapping a beam, so it's just a real light piece of wood. And mm-hmm. I'm on a bench, and I stepped off of it. <laughs> Literally, so like I'm trying to make sure this thing doesn't fall on my head uh-huh. as I'm falling. So I felt all of my weight on my wrist, Ooh. and then I just bent down and oh smoked my, my elbow on concrete. And I'm just like, <laughs> dude, one time, <laughs> yeah. So apparently, there's like this. Um, it's so it's apparently, there's this huge uh, uh, one of the main nerves in your body on your elbow. Yeah. It's not your funny bone. Your funny bone is different. That's in a different spot. That's, the That's like worst. in between oh, two bones. So this nerve is like right on the corner mm-hmm. of your elbow. So this is like years ago. I was literally just I, I might have been sixteen. Uh, literally just hey, stretching now. Stretching at a restaurant. And my arm comes down. You guys heard about this, right? <laughs> no. Never. Stretching at a restaurant. My arm comes down, hits that nerve, and I pass out in the restaurant. And my dad and my brother have to literally carry me out. Because that's, like, literally. I. And then we were, like, <laughs> they were, like, looking it up afterwards. Like, like, did I hit something? And it's that nerve, if you hit it hard enough. It's like goes throughout your entire body. It like every like <laughs> it, my ears were ringing. Oh, everything went black. Oh, dude, oh, just like, oh, wow. man, I'm so t- I, I literally <laughs> know the feeling because I've passed out several times before. But speaking of elbow injuries, <laughs> we're playing. Me and Jeff That's playing. Pong is yeah. <laughs> I, me and Jeff were playing ping pong. I tried to just whip one behind my Ooh. back, <laughs> dude. Nah. I've had a ping my pong, funny yeah. with the paddle. I promise you, my fingers were just stuck like this. Yeah. I and you're to just like so helpless. I uh-huh. had to just like, pull my fingers ah. back with my other hand. Actually, I've never passed out because I've never I'm, passed out. I'm terrified because like, what happened? Dog. Okay, so listen. I'll, yeah, you explain. I like, listen. Most recently, when I passed out, is do you remember we were playing basketball at uh wherever we were playing in? You might have been there. You might not have been there. Were you twisted your ankle? No, no. We were playing basketball, and, like, something happened in my back. Oh, yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah. So it was, like, pretty serious. But I could barely even move that night. The next morning, this was when we went camping, uh-huh. and I couldn't really walk yes. straight, remember? Uh, yeah. Remember I was walking crooked? Yeah. Well, I woke up the next morning, 
and an unbelievable amount of pain shot up through my back and everything. And literally, I walked into the bathroom, and the pain was so bad that I literally just completely passed out. Like, right. when I say I passed out at the restaurant, that was like, I would say, not fully passing out. So maybe that's an incorrect way to say right. it. But this time, I literally did because I laid down. And then I woke up in the bathroom floor, and then my dad was there, and it was just like, yeah, dude, passing like, out, like you literally like sweat. you're, yeah, you get super hot, and your vision soaked just gets in sweat. slowly gets worse and worse and worse until it's just completely black, and then it's just like, boom, and right, and the next thing you know, it's like you're in a hole, and it's like people are talking, people are but it's talking just like this is what you like, hear, and it's like, and it's just like, and it's just like you, can, it's, it's like, like <laughs> hold your ears right now, hold your ears right now, and then like I'm gonna right, talk to, to, like. Like this is what it sounds like, but then there's also ringing but, too. But it's only because they're doing. They're like, hey, <laughs> he you thinks he can't hear it. You know, like <laughs> the movie, right? like, you know, movie when it's like their eyes open, and all you hear is like, hey. like that's literally what it's like. Right. But with a ringing noise, and you have no idea what's happening. That's what just happened. Man. Jeff almost did, right? Yeah. I I couldn't hear or see it. Yeah. I looked at Red Chase, who was standing shoulder to shoulder. It's I really mean, like, scary. Right. I didn't. Really like, cool. I, I, had I had felt. I was skating as fast as I possibly could on like this season in hockey. Tripped at like the circle, like the circle right in front of inside the blue line, and just smashed into the boards. <laughs> uh, and like I went black, but I didn't pass out. Okay. Like, I, I think I never only ever fully passed out once. But I've got knocked out. I didn't remember because I got knocked out. <laughs> um, me and one of my best friends at the time, it was like, I was like 12. We were playing, you know, at hockey or ice skating, someone would take your hat and you'd skate yeah. after them. Oh, well, it was one of the no. older kids and they took my hat. And so I was skating. And, was, uh, and then I was coming right at him, right at the doors there at Tarkin's. <laughs> and he's standing there and, and I was reaching and just. <clears throat> <laughs> I have no yeah, cold. Done. I have no idea <laughs> that was what shit. happened. I I have no idea what happened. And when I woke up, they were like pulling me off the ice, and I was like, "Wait, <laughs> <laughs> did I get the hat?" <laughs> and no, that was the only. No, time you probably I, didn't uh, even remember you were going. Yeah, exactly. That. And I remember just sitting in there and being like, "I am so sorry." I'm like. <laughs> For what? I, I don't know what happened. <laughs> like, all I remember was you and then nothing. <laughs> I don't think I definitely never been knocked out. Yeah. But. Yeah, same. I've been knocked out like three or four times. All right. That's good, Jeff. That's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you kicked me in the head playing football. I took the puck to the side of the head. Everyone yeah, but like completely knocked out. Not completely, but like. I th it's completely knocked out dead. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like that's when dead. You lose your senses. I, mean, I know, like, you go I know movies, for a so fact. Completely knocked out is when you get like, a um, um, uppercut. Well, I like I definitely, I, got go. knocked, like, yeah. dizzy. I definitely use the term uh, passing out lightly and not right. as exactly what it is. But I know, okay, if you like to use it exactly, I've only passed out once, <gasps> but the I've come really close to passing out multiple times. Yeah, mm -hmm. And I, usually, in the times that it happened, were after an injury mm -hmm. and then it's usually the next morning and you almost f not forget that you have the injury but you don't realize how serious yeah, it is right. and then you put weight on it or something and yeah. then it's just like uh basically you pass out when you're a baby and you get hurt and it's like funny because <laughs> yeah. it's almost more you mental do you agree <laughs> yeah like you start the times thinking that about I've, it I've mentally the times that i've passed out are all from just what i'm thinking about yeah yeah like just like, I remember mentally being down the shore the one time and like I would just went to the bathroom or something. And the next thing I know, I'm literally laying in the shower. Yeah. And my family's like standing up to me right. asking what happened. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> like, were you even feeling, feeling sick at the time or anything? No, not really. But it's just like whatever was going through my head at that point was making me like uh -huh. say worrisome or whatever. Yeah. Like, I have the I opposite. agree with that. I have the opposite. Same. I go to sleep in my bed and then I wake up to other places. <laughs> 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 I I have sleepwalk. I have sl that's kind of the feeling. I like just absolutely no clue what has just happened. Like when I would sleepwalk, yeah. I I don't I don't know. I have no way of knowing if I've. But I people would tell me that I would because I would wake them up. But like that was weird. Yeah. <laughs> there were some weird times where I would just wake up and they'd be like, "What are you doing?" Like, yeah. You tell me. I don't really know. <laughs> you ever like been like partially sleepwalking, partially awake, and you can't really tell the difference? Yeah. 
and you're like, sort of just in it. There, I used to do that all the time when yeah. I was younger, to where like you'd know you were partially awake, right. but you weren't Dude, fully awake. Do you know what happened? Because do you know like, exactly what I mean? When we first moved to the house that we were in now, I can't say first, but like I remember, I went up to bed that night, and then I came back down. Or at some point, I'm in my parents' room arguing with them like right and you wake up halfway like, through it or yeah, something like, no it's not and i'm like screaming like yes it is and then like all of a sudden i woke up and just walked back up to bed right yeah that's yeah, like, I've been no, there, i know that. what happened but i could have when, when yeah. there's someone sleepwalking like i just want to slap them across the face <laughs> the, like, i know the weirdest time it's like what are you doing so me? scary <laughs> the weirdest yeah. time. my sister one time was sleepwalking came up to me from upstairs came all the way down and was gonna give me a kiss good night Thinking I was her dad. She definitely was about to kill you. I, know, right? <laughs> I was like literally freaking out. Like, yo, get That's away. Like, so like, scary. Kind of, like, I, woke, I, I, I almost choked my brother out. <laughs> <laughs> we slept in the same room. And he, uh, he woke up with my hands around his shoulders going, where is he? Where is he? And he's like, I almost punched you so hard in the face. He's like, but as soon as I yelled at you, you went back and got bed. Yeah, like, it happens yeah. every time. And then like the person who's sleepwalking is just like, Nothing ever happened. Yeah. Like, they just go back to, I'm, I'm just like, glad I was the one that? because so then I didn't have to deal with it See, with like other people because so, I don't remember any of my brothers and sisters, like uh, right. me being the youngest. Like I, I don't know. If, I mean, obviously you grow out of it. I think. Do you grow well, out I of mean, sleepwalking? I don't know. I grew into it. I didn't sleepwalk until I was like. Can you talk like that? Yeah. I didn't, I didn't sleepwalk until I was I like wonder, 15. I don't know. I, just I was go older. To bed, no, sleep I don't in know. My that bed what wake up and go to bed. What causes what what. Um, cause I know, but sleepwalking. Sleep, I think it's by your that? dream. But I'm gonna Google your it. dream. Okay, I, the most mind blowing thing that I'll obviously you can probably never get the answer to, even with the they might say they have an answer. Yeah. But like, how long does a dream last? No idea. Because I've heard that it only lasts a couple seconds. There's uh, no way my brain works no that does. fast. No. I know, but I can't think through that entire scenario. There in a are couple times. Seconds. There are times where I'll be feel like I'm dreaming forever, and then I wake up and I've and only been asleep like, for an hour. You almost cool. need to know yeah, like every what? time I'm dreaming forever, I wake up and it's the morning time. And it's like there's no right. way I just started dreaming I like five honestly seconds ago. <laughs> never dream. I don't, I, dude, it, I, I dream like I kid you not, time. hardcore like. Every night, See. I almost wish like, that I'm not I even like, exaggerating. I find enjoyment out of dreaming. Too, I don't. But I, I hate never... it. Really? Yeah, Sometimes because usually I I'm being chased by someone, and I'm <laughs> so. T- That's nightmares. That's not dreaming. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like every once in a while, I'll have a nightmare, but I don't dream. Yeah. I like, for example, like, yeah, a, a couple dreams that like happen a lot. It's it's like similar things, but it's just different. What are you watching before you go to bed? So, <laughs> Usually just a sports game. <laughs> but, like, literally, the dreams that happen most frequently is I'm either being chased, and then there's just, like, this really long distance that I have to get to. <laughs> right? And I never end up getting caught. It's whatever. And then the other thing is I'm, like, driving or, like, falling or something, and I can't stop soon enough. Like, imagine you're driving really fast, and there's, like, uh-huh. a car in front of you, and you're slamming your brake pedal, but you can't really reach your brake pedal. Yeah. Yeah. So you're, like, pushing it a little bit, but it's not quite close enough. You know what was and a if recurring you want to hear the weirdest thing about my dreams? I hate it. I've had at least maybe anywhere between five to ten dreams that I've dreamt up the night or the week before, and then they came true. And then I have one yeah. that I, I remember vividly dreaming it, like, a couple years ago about, like, these two people or whatever, and now they're, like, together in the present day. And it's so uh, weird. There, there was, I'm like what, like, what is happening? I had a dream, yeah. where, a weird one, where I was doing the dishes. For some reason, that's just what I was dreaming. And I was looking out at something really weird. I think it was like a rainbow, but in my dream, it was like a dark, stormy cloud. That Are you was talking like, about in your dream? Yes, in okay. my dream. And in our driveway was a car that I had never seen. Like, we didn't have that car. It was like a gray, uh, silver SUV. And then like two months later... I'm doing the dishes and I look out at like a rainbow or whatever that all my family's and our silver, we had just gotten a silver Dodge Durango. And I'm like, I like froze. I'm like, this was my dream. Like, this is ha- and like, we yeah, didn't, we didn't, so I can't explain times. it enough. I can't stress enough. We never had a gray car, never had anything like it. Like I know, but the weirdest thing it's in just- the entire world is, um, 
Deja vu. I know. Oh, I get Deja it all vu is time. so weird. I haven't had it in forever. And you, and you can I never like think of it in the first five seconds. <laughs> like, how does that make sense? I know. Like, I feel You're like, like some this people who happened. say they have deja vu all the time. Like, yeah. I'm not saying it to you. It's like, like they well, need to settle down a little bit. Like deja vu. <laughs> right. Like, but in the, the time matrix, that it, like, it's only hit me maybe like two or three times. That's I'm gonna be like, one of those guys like, that say I have it. Feel like I have it a lot. Same. Like if that's like, how does that make sense? I, well, you know what so, I mean. So in the I movie, the, the matrix. If you get deja vu, it means there's a glitch in the matrix. That's the way they know they're in the matrix. So that's probably why people say we're in the matrix. Yes, yeah. because glitches. Because it's like a glitch. They say if you see the same thing twice or you experience the same thing twice, that's not normal, and you're in a, you're in a simulation. Because it's unbelievable how it's like, like it's so I scary. think we I think we like under undervalue undervalue it. Like we're almost like, oh, I just had deja vu. Yeah. And everyone's just like, oh, he had deja vu. Anyway, where are we yeah. ordering food from? It's like it is really yeah. insane. Dude, actually. there are times where we'll be like all together talking, and I'll be like, I'll like literally just go wide eyed yeah. and be like. And it's yeah, usually like about that same uh, exact yeah. thing. In the same in the exact same position. Yeah. In the same I exact know. thing. Yeah. Dude, so weird. and then you, like I've definitely had it points where I'm like, I'm like, okay, and this is gonna happen next. Right. Yeah. Like, you can tell what's gonna happen but next. Have you ever then, been like playing something and like you're literally let's say like dribbling down a basketball court and this guy's like guarding you and it's like For me it's usually before? conversations. Because that has happened <laughs> once or I feel like it's happened to me where it's like and I'm like in the middle of my like dribble or whatever, and it's uh -huh. like, dude, this literally just happened. Like, it's usually yeah. conversations for me. Like, yeah, the brain yeah, it's is like, insane. Well, oh, by the way, uh if you sleepwalk a lot, it's because of lack of sleep. Like sleep deprivation. Do you want to hear well, the scariest sleepwalk? <laughs> My sister. Wait, do you want to just come on? That same sister. Unless you can hear it. Come tell us. Jeff's coming on. Producer it's Jeff. Not a lot of claps, Ew. just a little bit. Not producer Moderator Jeff. Moderator Jeff. Tell us. That same sister Ian was talking about came down <laughs> in the middle of the night. Everybody's in bed. No lights on. My mom hears the back door. Already a red card. Red card. She goes out. Penalty. And Harper's Throwing trying to get out back, but the door's locked, thankfully. And my mom's like, Harper, what are you doing? And she goes, oh, I'm just going to see what Brad and Miley are doing. Oh, my gosh. I oh just my got chills. <laughs> my, mom's, yeah, my mom like, tells me this story the next right morning. Back door. I'm like, if I were you. I would have just ran away. <laughs> I would have shoved her outside like, and locked the door. No, no, that is horrifying. What if she got outside? Uh, I don't know. No, I know. Like, I'm just kidding. I'm saying she's saying, I, I want to see what Brad and Miley are doing. Like, what are they doing? Why are they outside? I've never experienced. <laughs> They're out in the garage. Someone else sleepwalking. <laughs> but my my sister start like my older sister started locking the door. She said because like I'll wake I'll like hear something I'll wake up and you'll just be pacing the halls. Dude, mm -hmm. I've heard. And I'm like, why don't you shoot me like kill me or something? <laughs> I've heard the that someone time? slept walk like someone we know went out of their front door, walked all the way around the block. Came back in their front door, got back. Like in I'm there. honestly um, my, not surprised. My, it was either my like, grandpa or somebody in my family. I don't know who it was, but he went outside, went over to the neighbor's house, and had a full. They were like out having a fire, was sleepwalking, went out, had a whole full conversation with them. Like was with them all night, and they like caught on that he was sleepwalking. They were like, "All right, we're we're going to bed," and he walked, got up, walked, and went to bed. Yes. Like no recollection of it the next I day. I know, but like how. I, so they told like yeah <laughs> they, they knew that he was they they caught on that he was sleepwalking no I mean like oh, no. yeah they told they, well they the neighbors and their family were close like my yeah. family were close but like the weirdest one for me was I went to bed I was in the top bunk the weirdest one for, I I I boy do we have stories wake up in the bathroom <laughs> yeah right I wake up in the bathroom like <clears throat> breathing heavily and I'm like what the heck and I look over and my dad's standing there like. <laughs> and I'm like, what? He's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm like, I don't know. He's like, all I hear is you full on book it into the bathroom. And like my sisters are like, what is going on? I'm like, I'm so like, they're asking me if I can. I'm like, I'm fine. I walk back into my room and my sheet and quilt are perfectly spread out on the floor. Like corner to corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're an alien. <laughs> oh, like, I'm freaking like, out. I'm like no. standing there like, what the heck? Like, We're no, like slowly backing mom? away from the table. Yeah, yeah, that's Wait, cool. <laughs> 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 the, the absolute 
craziest thing ever. My mom, when she was younger, her and her friend used to be super close. They would always have sleepovers. They dreamt together. Yeah. I've they heard got of out of bed and that. were like pulling clothes out of the dresser together and talking to each other and then got woke up. Like, what the hell? No, heck? that's haunted. <laughs> that, I've heard of like, like, what? No, they're possessed. I've, I've heard of like, two sisters that aren't even, like, I have no relation to them, but I've literally heard they did that, too. Like, they uh, were apparently, close Apparently, Odin, I have, according to David, I have no recollection of it. <laughs> He's like, yeah, you've tried to kill me on multiple but occasions. he said, I, I do not even know if this right. is true or not, but he told me, because he used to stay over all the time when uh, he was, when we were younger, and uh, he said that one night we were sleeping, and, uh, just literally just both sat up at the same exact time, looked at each other, and then lay back down. Like I said, it could have happened, it could not have. That's just what we were told. Ah! I know. I, I was just like... I oh. Sleeping is a dangerous and creepy yes. world. I know you randomly... We were just talking about like sleeping and being in bed and whatnot, but have you ever been like, like really sick and then like your fever breaks and then... You wake up and your bed is just soaked yes. from sweat. <laughs> yes. Or and pee. then you're like, and then you're like, ah, oh. and then you go get in the shower and then you do it again, uh-huh. and you're just like laying in bed, your back's like full of sweat and your your sheets are soaked, <laughs> and you're just like contemplating how long you can just deal with it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. When, oh, uh, trust me, I have the, the absolute to just deal with it. The yeah. absolute. Like, I, I won't not. get up and just. Get I do a not. Like I I've done it. wash. At like one in the morning. That's, that's disgusting. That's crazy. Dog. That's disgusting. Like literally, like there's been points where I sweated through my sheet and then my mattress was wet too. So then I'm like, well, what do I do now? <laughs> <laughs> well, you do I the practice. You Dude. Well, you have to do what you do when you wet your bed. You just yeah. put a towel. <laughs> 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 you yeah. push Jeff's face into it, obviously. <laughs> yeah. You take the sheets off, the... lay a towel down. I, yeah, I not stop for a thing. while, and then it happens. You're like, it's and such... you kind of know it's gonna happen, yeah. and you like, I've done it before where I even like tried to prepare for it. I yeah. slept on like towels, right? And it's still, you, I mean, I slept in the tub sweat. one time. <laughs> yeah. One thing that I really enjoy, like, am okay with. Is whenever I have to get up, like, I, I'm obviously not working right now, but if I have to get up for work, or, like, a couple times I got up at, like, 5.30 in the morning to go snowboarding, I am the wide awake, like... Like, you're a morning I, person? I would say no, because usually I'm sleeping oh, late. Oh, he's pissed. <laughs> I'm sleeping late, and, uh, like, I get up and sit on the couch right now when I... But it's only on the days... When I uh, have to get up at like five thirty, then I'm just wide awake. Right. So because you like, like that? Like, do you like? Yeah. To because get up? I'd rather. I'd rather. Um. Like I'm just glad I'm not super tired and just like yeah. wanted to. Well, I'm, dude, I today was I'm one of those a... days. I woke up literally, and my work clothes were down in the basement because I hadn't. Br- I still haven't <sighs> brought up my cli- pile. For That's like, like such an inconvenience. <laughs> Literally, I, I think that I was still asleep when I got down the basement. Like, I was not like, actually. Like, I like, literally, like, was like... Like, I'm always just... You know that feeling when you're, like, you literally have to, like, force yourself to open your eyes, yes. but you don't have the strength yeah. to open your eyes? Well, you know what? That's what I was I, um, <sighs> I used to be in the mindset of, like, why would I get in the shower in the morning to go to work when I'm just going to get, like, sweaty and dirty at work? So then, like, you know what I mean? So then I'm kind of, <laughs> like, being, like... Why do I need that? Yeah. But, like, my r- morning routine for pretty much all this year, which, like, last year I was, like, super focused on it. Morning routine. I want to do something. Yeah. And I kind of tried a bunch of different things, and it was just, like, hard to maintain. And then all of a sudden, it just sort of happened. So, like, I'll get up in the morning. I get a shower every morning. And I get up uh, an hour before I have to leave. Or, like, a, a half hour, maybe. Yeah. And it gives me plenty of time to shower. <laughs> That's a big difference. Read my Bible, <laughs> and then get any like uh, lunch stuff ready. Like that shower in the morning, plus turning on a lot of overhead lights, because it literally tells your brain to like wake up. Yeah. Going to work, I feel a thousand times better. Right. Even though like I'm not doing physical labor anymore. Like I'm I'm in an office job now, but like even for you guys who are doing physical labor. Like, yeah, it would just make your the work day so much better. One morning, I wasn't feeling good, so I woke up early and I was like, I'm gonna get a shower. I got a shower and 
I felt way better. And then the next day, I'm like, I'm going to do this every day. And the next day, but I the thing is, I, say, when you I get up like as late as, like, <laughs> I won't, I'll say as late as I can, bef- but like, it'll probably be a half hour before I have to leave. Right. But like, I, I'll literally just go down and I'll read my Bible. Then I'll get my lunch and stuff. And then I'll just take that time to just relax. Right. It yeah. is I don't, an hour, like, by the, the way. Time to get like, I was sometimes say, I, I like want to, to like, have my mom wake me up for school like 10 minutes early so I can just. <laughs> lay in my bed and actually wake up. But the thing is, is like I used to. I can't do that. I used to be in the mindset of like I want to get every ounce of sleep because then I'm more rested, right? Yeah. yeah. But you feel like you have to then. Ten minutes isn't gonna. You have to then sleep. wake up throughout your workday, which yeah. is terrible. Yeah. For me, it's just like work already is work, and you right. don't really want to be doing it. So wait, wait. if you're more prepared, you don't like work. I mean, I actually enjoy what I do. <laughs> I can't but, believe someone liking their work. But, <laughs> but like, I don't know, just actually waking up and taking care of yourself yeah. and doing something, like, good for yourself to start your day, work is so much yeah. easier. The worst, and it's, the worst and you, thing it's for annoying me, getting up early, but not really, because yeah. you get to do all that. The worst thing for me is laying in bed. If I, if, I, if I don't wake up immediately and get right out of bed, like... My day is not starting the way the I want to. The worst thing like, is when it's like 2.30 in the afternoon and I'm still yawning. The yeah. best. Like, it's so annoying. The best thing. Because I'm not even tired necessarily. Is when but like, or you feel like you slept for like eight hours and you wake up and it's 2.30 in the morning. That's the best thing. That's what I said. No, no, no. 2.30 is like on the borderline. I would say when you wake up and it's like 1. one. Yeah, okay. I, I yeah. that. Because 2.30 you're like... Uh, I don't really feel great. What just happened? Flyers, Flyers just clinched. Six nothing. They lost. They're losing in the oh. second intermission. So then, if they lose this game, are they out of the playoffs? No. But it's not great that they're losing six nothing. I agree. I just checked and it was one nothing in the second period. Jeez, man. Sam Harrison's blowing. Where blowing trunks. Off. Um. um yeah, I, I like to get up. I try to get I up. I think early. like having a morning routine is a game changer yeah. because it, like, the thing is, you have to find something that you enjoy that yeah. makes you feel good. Like, I try to have like things that I do every day that make for a better day. Yeah. So it's like exercise, uh, read my Bible, uh, get a shower in the morning. That's a major thing. If I don't now, it's just like. I can tell I'm still waking up. Right. Yeah. But also, like, a lot of light in the morning is a good thing. Yeah. Like, overhead, really bright lights. Right. And also, like, actually leaning back and looking up will naturally wake you up, believe it or not. <coughs> if you look, if you lean your head back and you look up and open your eyes really like wide, I'm waking up right now. It actually, like, physically will blind. wake you up. <laughs> yeah, did anyone else stare at the eclipse just to see if they had their blind? The I, I did. Did. Jake, <laughs> give, tell, give him your give him your opinion on the eclipse. Oh wait, uh, never mind. Sure, that was my... that was someone else. They said Go. the eclipse is a little overrated, and I was like, yeah, I agree. Go. But uh, although, yeah. actually, although, <laughs> like my mom and them got the goggles. It's it is something. It, it is, is cool. Yeah. It is crazy. It's cool, dude. The, I saw this video say, on yeah, Instagram, cool. and it was from the eclipse back in. There was one in Utah. Was there one in 20, it when? 2017? It was 2017. 2017. Yeah. And it so, got, like, completely dog, dark. There was these guys, like, photographers and filmmakers in Utah that they aligned it perf- Like, they t- figured out where it was going to hit. And they had these two people up on the Red Rock. And they had they were, like, dressed in, like, uh, a cowboy hat. And, like, uh, it was, like, a guy and a girl. Dude, they got the most amazing shot of them <coughs> silhouetted in the eclipse up on the Red Rock. I was just like, in that case, like that would be so awesome to have like a bucket, like a bucket shot like that yeah. to do that right. would be phenomenal. You're wishing you had a seat right now. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. no, no. We're, I'm getting a stool. I'm getting a stool this Friday. Will's getting his own stool. Yeah, he's, uh, gonna, he's gonna get a sample. A, a sample. Stool sample. <laughs> get it because of poop. Yeah, it's poop stool. We figured out the best line in cinematic history, by the way. The other day. Oh yeah! The greatest line. Listen, fr- from the office, from a season you season wouldn't think nine. it from. And the episode is when Dwight. No, no, no. Was it Suits? Yeah, Dwight and uh, something Suits. Neil. What's his name? Clark. 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 Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they're they're uh. they're pretending to be father and son, <laughs> and 
Dwight keeps making stuff up about him. <laughs> He's like, Dwight's like, you can't even make this stuff up. He's like, yeah, I think somebody could. <laughs> Someone with very few friends. <laughs> and it's like, listen, Jim and I had this conversation. It's like, if you try to tell someone why it's funny, it's, it's literally not, not funny. funny. It's not. But if you understand the show <laughs> and you understand him, it is yeah. the funniest line in the entire show. And because it's, it's so subtle, but it's like yeah. the perfect jab. <laughs> so now that's all I say. Oh, somebody could. Someone with very few friends. <laughs> so that's like our favorite line that's from the, the best office. Line of Listen, if you wanted, you could comment your favorite line from the office. Down below. We'll wait. Wait, it's not long. No, nah, nah, ah, that's right. I forgot. Wait. Dang it. My eyes itch. You want to take a second to scratch your eyes? Don't. 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 don't, don't. No, don't. don't. Do it. Do it. I saw an x-ray it. of what it looks like when you rub your eyes. Oh, boy. Oh it scared the absolute crap well, out of me. Well, I hope so. Wait, an x-ray? Uh, like an uh, infrared thing of Does when you rub your eyes really and quick. what actually happens. Like, your eyes get pushed so far back into, like, it's... Why are you watching this? Just take this? a second. Just Let's take a, I can get I a pop. <laughs> yeah, take a second. <laughs> take a second. <laughs> it just it just rubs me the wrong way when I cuz now I'm like and when I when I go to rub my eyes, I close my eyes and I'm like, "Ah!" So you guys excited for Moana too? No. I am. Not even a little bit. I went like is I there used to watch. Moana too? Yeah, dog. Uh, is it gonna be good? As good as the listen, first one? Listen, it's gonna be in theaters when Paul and I are on our honeymoon. Shut up! You guys aren't going on a honeymoon. So <laughs> idiot. <laughs> Paul and Noom are on a cruise. Yeah, shout out to Paul and Noom. Love you. That's enough. Are you Don't. serious? That's all you could give Paul and Noom? It was a loud clap, a loud solid clap. <laughs> Idiot. Listen, here's the deal. Our main light went out, so that's why it's a little bit darker. I was thinking we should start doing more fireside chats because they do really well. Do you guys like the fireside chats? See, they said yes. I don't even know what happened here. Yeah. Like, we went from <laughs> like honeymoons and Moana 2 to, to infrared eyeballs. Infrared eyeballs. <laughs> to to welcome back sleeping. to the Everman, guys. This is not a sports episode, except for the fact that the fly. The Flyers are terrible. Listen, did anyone stay up for that Flyers championship game? I did. Yeah. Yeah. My boss came in today on a with a Purdue shirt on. I was it's like, did they win? And he said, Why? Why do you start at 920? I, I have know. no idea. I'm, I think it's I'm the borderline at Sunday night. Or, sorry. Monday night. M month, last That's night. Already night. I'm like borderline already asleep. <laughs> and I'm like, ah, oh, the game's starting. So yeah. I text you guys. I'm like, are you guys staying up for this? <laughs> like, like I'm, I feel like Ian goes to bed early because he obviously has to work. Jeff, he's, I he know, never true. stays up for anything. You sick of it on the weekends. You and I'm the only him. one. I, 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 I stay up. Like this. I stay up okay. for like, because well, you know what? On no, you yeah. don't. Listen, hey. Jeff's oh, in Jeff. bed sometimes. Lately, your stay up game on the weekend has been bad. Brutal. Although, last, wow. week. Listen, last week. I will because say, I was getting up at 7 30 on Saturday. I will say that. Go to It will never change with, with um, football. NFL, we're still going strong. I yeah. basically live at your guys' house football <laughs> season because the Phils are in the playoffs too. See, that's what I'm excited for, is, like, that kind of... No, we are. Guess what? <laughs> Important. No, you know what we're excited about? Yes, we are. The Sixers versus Boston in the Eastern Conference Finals. Yeah, and the Phillies bullpen. <sighs> what? No, dude? because the Sixers are actually going to go to the Eastern Conference Finals. No, they're not. Yes, they are. Ian. They are. The Bucs are the Bucs terrible. They have Doc Rivers. Oh, I River. was so wrong with the Bucs. The Orlando <laughs> Magic are the four seed. Well said. Yeah. yeah. The I Cleveland said. Cavaliers are the three seed. To listen. be fair, I didn't know that it was oh. Doc Rivers that was going to be running the Bucs. Here's the thing. If you look at it this way. <laughs> The Flyers' last game of the season is against the Capitals, and it could be another Rangers situation where they get in on a shootout. That's or they lose five nothing. Or they lose five nothing. That's what I'm holding out hope for. Uh, Don't holding out for a me, hero. Dog. Yeah, well, the Capitals I'm, are beating the Red Wings right now. Dang I'm, it! I'm disappointed. But the Red Wings that, uh, are in the spot right now. So listen, True. Jim. The Flyers weren't supposed to be here. No. So let's. <laughs> <laughs> We're here. <laughs> Stop brushing your teeth. You need I'm to settle down. Up. You need to settle down. Listen, I'm disappointed. The it's only year because it's hiding behind my left ear. How much noise is he making head. right now, Jeff? What? 
How much noise Jeff's is he like, making? I'm right shopping. Now? Jeff's right like, now. I turned out a while ago. <laughs> I'm on Amazon. <laughs> Listen, if you didn't want me to be passionate about it, you shouldn't have started you the season just, really well. You should just think of more fish facts. Fish Dude, facts. Can that be like a segment? Fish, fish, fish facts. facts. Fish, fish facts. Every week we, we have, have fish, fish facts. facts. Fish, fish facts. facts. Fish facts. That's not even a word. Fish facts. Fish, fish facts. facts. Fish facts. That's just facts as we said with fish. Like a facts. Now back to the flyers. No, I'm just kidding. Um, the Phillies Wait, are, like, do you, actually feel, do you know do you know do you actually feel that way about the Sixers? Do you actually feel that way? I'm going to the have Phillies you not, on Thursday. Did you not Thursday? just see Maxie drop 52? Are you going to see I did. I did. I heard it's Friday. I heard it's because of his hair. What? Yeah. Wait, what did you say? And B got his his hair done. That's he's why he's a beast. He's sticking insane. Dude. Listen, yeah. listen, they okay. Have, listen, okay. They're the most listen, healthy they've been. Listen, they listen. Have the look at me. Look at me. And Tyrese Maxey is a fucking animal right now. Dude, I'm excited look, that Maxey's doing like, well. Look at me. Jim, Jim. <laughs> look, <laughs> look at me. <laughs> he's going to get hurt in the first round. There's going to be an issue. He's going to have to wear a mask or a brace. And then in the second round, he's going to be limited to what he can do. Let's do it. You want to wear that shirt again? You have to wear the shirt again. The pod. What? Wear the pod. For a you pod? gotta wear it if they make the Easter Conference Finals. If they make the Easter Conference Finals, I'll wear it for a, for three pods. Oh, for oh. three pods. Yeah! Let's go. I love it when you guys do this! <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite thing ever. But what if they don't make it? Then it's just off nothing. Then he has to wear it for three pods. No, no, no. <laughs> you gotta, no, no, no. You guys gotta do a bet on the Flyers now. So. I, wanna I bet you the Flyers don't make it to the playoffs. No, <laughs> I want to make a bet with someone. Do you know what we're doing for this weekend? Masters. Picking the oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is how we're we'll finishing off the pod. This is how we're finishing off the pod. Listen, 7.30 this morning, we have this <laughs> long, stupid... Most of our conversations are... Uh, ridiculous. <laughs> and at 7.30, we're talking about this freaking Masters. And I'm just like... What are we doing? What are we doing, <laughs> what are we doing with what our lives? Doing? It was a good idea, though. I'm excited. All right. I mean, well, it's who's a good Jake idea? All right. Who's on yeah. our uh, Who's on our list? You guys are the best. Yeah. Do you, you want to do teams? Who? Bro. You guys sure. are on a team. Me and Ian are on a team. Huh? And I'll be Brooks. on the team. Yeah. Gr- Jeff's Brooks. by himself. Me, me and Jim. I said Max yeah. Kepka. All right. Yeah, Who do we got? Brooks Kepka. I know. But Max. We're gonna look up the best Max for them to win. I know. Isn't that somebody? Is it? Okay, wait. Are we? Should we do like a uh, just a real <coughs> quick like little draft so we're not picking the same players? No, I want to pick the same players. <laughs> no, no, no. Me Teaser. and you are gonna pick the same guy. I know, but like we'll pick the same three and then they'll pick. Yeah, the, that's we'll fine. Right. I have an yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have an we'll idea. That. For yes. the first one though, we should pick okay. silently and then we'll say who we picked and we, if we're the same then. Okay. Then, we're definitely then we same. kill each other. All right. So the, only thing, no, no, no. the only thing is, up, it's gonna be uh like dead time on the pod. Look up just golfers. Look up just a list of golfers. Freaking Phillies are losing. Just look up the best the Masters odds. All right, you guys ready to pick? We have ours. I already know mine. All right, so but rock, paper, that? scissors, or, or closest to the darts, me and Jake will throw. Sound good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you guys keep the... We got one, uh, one keep the truth team, right? So look. I just want to list. Whoever is the closest, whoever gets the closest to a bullseye, not points, the closest to a bullseye. Listen, don't that that team, others. His Listen respective other team will select first. On, the following team will pick two players. Each team will get three I golfers. You, I don't think you do and two, the lowest two players. Scores. This is just for first pick. I don't okay, think you do five, the two no, players. All right, just one, one, like that. And the lowest score of their Jake's three total first. combined golfers wins. You, someone announce it. Oh! Oh! I can't even tell what Oh, oh my God. So he throws it like a weak little boy. And it hits off and doinks off the board. What a doinker. And yes, we yeah. are. Ow. We get first pick. Yeah. And as expected, we will select... I'll let him announce it. Top Scotty Scheffler. Yeah. 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 For about three seconds, and I knew I wanted Scotty yeah. Scheffler. Well, he has, all right. He has his beard back, Pick baby. Pick it. Yeah. I think we get two, right? No. Yeah, we get two. No. Yeah. Yeah. See, we are number two. One. No, one. one. John Rombo. Damn! That's who we were going to take. <laughs> Rombo. No, I want, I want you him. You want him? Yeah. I, don't, I think it's between the two. And they're looking at the same exact spot. <laughs> I didn't do that. All right, we'll take Max Rory Mackle. Yes, yes, we wanted Brooks. See, I That's said that. That's fine. I said that, too. Oh, Tim wanted Brooks. <laughs> we both wanted <laughs> the same thing. 
We should have been on a team. Nah. See, I'm super, <laughs> it I'm have super ended well. I really want to take uh, Will Zalatoris because he comes listen, in second in every listen, single uh, We need to do thing. this is Will. We need to do, we need we need to do a golf short. video. Will, That's because I'm sure. taking you sick of? the fourth one to finish oh, off dude, our three dude. golfers. Milky Zander uh, wow. For our third Amen. pick, we'll take Xander Shoffley. Yes. We are cooking right now. Yeah. We already won the Masters. Yo, can we get that board? Jim, give me that board. Uh, Is there a pen? Is there a marker? No. Mm. Unless you have one. I don't. Uh, Dang it. it. We'll write it down somewhere. Here. I'm giving you your mic back because mine's better. <laughs> You're an idiot. Jordan Spieth. Yeah. Oh! Oh. We're just doing three, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. So how does this work? I wanted to pick Wyndham Clark. So like, whoever wins. Whoever no, so look, first. our combined scores. Uh, oh, is that what we're doing? The lowest yeah. score That's more wins. interesting than who wins, because if one yeah. person wins, then the uh, why does the other one? Yeah, the better. lowest score of your combined players. It's cool. Now I have a reason to watch the Masters. Shake. When is it? Let's this have weekend? a good game. Yes. Have a good game. Shake their hands. Yo, yeah. let's have a good game. With Taylor and Isaac. Yes. Let's hear it for Taylor and Isaac. That's enough! Right. That's how the table goes up, like above and beyond. Yeah, because we're Forever. supportive. Yeah. yeah, we like to clap because we're happy, and yeah. you guys are bummed out all the time because you don't up. sleep. You bummed know what? Up. <laughs> you know what though? I think D-U-N-D-H-T. we should do our golf video that we did just us two yeah. before y'all were involved. Yeah, we need to do that with all four of us. Yeah, Wait, you guys had a golf video before we were involved. Uh, that was bomb. Also, I think that. If you really think about it, tuna are ginormous and fast. <laughs> are they bigger? <laughs> no. Ginormous. Like, show me with your hands. He's bigger. B- bigger. He's, tuna bigger. is bigger. No. Bro, listen. I show you tuna. I show <laughs> you giant tuna. It's their fastest fish. Tuna? Nah. Yes. We, f- we solved this. <laughs> no, yeah. What was it? I said well, I can't no, remember. That's fastest Fish. Sort of fish. Fattest fish. Oh, fattest. I said fastest fish, but then tuna? I remember. Do you all eat tuna? I started typing in Jordan. No. I don't. Dude, I don't eat tuna. any fish. Tuna's the bomb, Tuna bro. fish? Tuna Shut fish? Shut your mouth. Dude, I had... You're not going to believe this, but I had salmon for the first time in my life. I had salmon. Like a couple good. weeks ago. It was good. Salmon is I had salmon, salmon in fifth grade for yeah, a food class. Salmon? It wasn't horrible. Salmon and some potatoes is really good. That's a really good combo. That's what I had. Me look, and my pops. Look at the big tuna fish. Oh my oh squash. My lamb Oh my gourd. Ew. Is that's a tuna? No, there's oh no way my. you can't just catch a tuna fish. Look as at like, this big tuna. It is next to very small man. Like, like if you get like a tuna fish, you're that's like one of those little suns. That doesn't freaking mean you're so stupid. <laughs> that is just part of the food from what, fish. <laughs> you are dumb. There's no way you that get is, like... What do you think? They catch, <laughs> do you think they catch a minnow? Put it in, do the fish job. Yes, you know, you like, s- you know, like precisely what to say. <laughs> Andre, <laughs> yo, wait, the, no fighting, <laughs> no fighting. Jim, listen, here's the thing. Now I feel like I'm a tuna. Andre, that's Nikov. If you have the Michigan, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. Make sure you comment. Uh, Listen, uh, the fireside chats have been doing really well. So if you guys want more of them, you just have to let us know. Not a lot of people comment. That's okay. You probably have a nine hundred pound anyway. tuna. That's not real. Yeah, he's probably looking up those leopard seals <laughs> again too from movies. <laughs> leopard seals are real and they're terrifying. Listen, are leopard seals scary? Let us know in the comments. Oh, again, you haven't even made it this far. If you did, I mean, you may as well comment at <laughs> That's this a good point. point. Like if you made. This far and Why you're listening you to me commenting? ramble, you may as well comment and subscribe if you're not. If they made it this far, Jim, I'm gonna they give you five well seconds comment. to give me one more fact if you want to. Um, they're the the that's it. <laughs> then they're also very fast. They're very fast. You I know actually they are? the tuna one time and I beat it. Tuna? And I'm a horrible swimmer. Hey! And they they run 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 they could go up to 75 miles an hour. So yes. can I. Good fact. <laughs>